Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me this week for an episode on toning for blonde hair. Now, I know when it comes to toning, um, it could be seen really easy, but it, it's actually really, really not hard, but you really have to think about certain factors when you guys formulate for toning for your blondes. Now, key factors to think about, level of lift, level of lift, porosity, what is our goal, and the fact that we will try to not overtone because of that porosity. So what can help us with that? So I'm gonna show you a quick video first uh, on how I applied this color. I, will, I have four different swatches that I applied two different formulas on. I have a level eight T, which is gonna have a mix of some blue pigments in there. So it's gonna be on the, like a grayish blue side. And then I have a level nine V. So it's gonna be a level nine violet applied to a blonde swatch. So let's go ahead and watch that video really quickly. Hope you guys enjoyed that so this would be the blonde swatch that i use for my toning video so now let me talk to you about the dilution solution so how, what is this going to help you for is you never want to put full strength color on hair that's been lifted if you're trying to tone otherwise it's going to grab too dark you're going to freak out and you're going to rinse it out now allowing that color to do what it needs to do because say it with me Toner needs to process for 20 minutes. Again, together, toner needs to process for 20 minutes. And I'll talk to why that's gonna be super important. All right, so this first visual is going to be max color. So there is no clear, this is gonna be straight color. So this is gonna be your full strength. So I hope you guys can see that really well. So full strength color, no dilution. You guys can see how dark that is especially that 8T, it looks, you know, on the blue steel side. So if you're toning your blonde and that's not the color that they want, guess what? You're gonna have to correct it. On this next visual, this is going to be minimal dilution. So this is gonna be color with clear that's gonna be added to the formula. Guys, screenshot these, these um, formulations because this is your dilution solution. So you can see it's still very dark. Again, if that's not the color that you're going for, we're gonna have to correct it. And this next visual is going to be your moderate dilution, okay? So here you're gonna have your moderate dilution, equal parts of your color to your clear. So that you can see the color is starting to get softer. And the last one is going to be our max dilution, the last visual. Okay, this is max dilution. It's going to be one part color to three parts of your clear. So more clear in your formula. Now, why would you do max dilution for your toner? If you think about it this way, full strength color is going to grab onto your hair really quickly. Again, you're gonna rinse it out really, really fast. If we're not letting the toner process the full time, we're not letting it do what it needs to do, which is deposit your tone condition the hair, close down that cuticle. If we rinse it beforehand, you're not allowing it to do all the beautiful properties that it's designed to do. So again, very important, processing time for toners is 20 minutes, and you wanna formulate correctly to let it process the full time. This is where the dilution solution comes into play, and it's gonna become your best friend. I will tell you guys on all of my blondes, it's never full strength color. It is always diluted in some form because I need to allow it to process a full 20 minutes. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Any questions, comment below, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next week. Bye.